Hey guys, this is going to be an interesting one, and we're going to solve this using the Lambert Euler function, and let's get started. So from the laws of the exponent, we know when we have a to the power of m minus n, this will be equal to a to the m over a to the n, which is the case in here. So basically, we have e to the power of x squared over e to the 1 is equal to x. So in order to get rid of the exponent of e or x squared in here, we're going to multiply each side by e to the power of minus x squared. So what we're going to get is we have e to the power of x squared times e to the power of minus x squared over e is equal to x times e to the power of minus x squared. So under the laws of the exponent, when we have a to the power of b times a to the power of c, this will be equal to a to the power of b plus c. So in the numerator, we have e to the power of x squared minus x squared over e is equal to x to the power of e to the power of minus x squared. So this will be equal to zero. So we have e to the power of zero over e is equal to x times e to the power of minus x squared. So we know any number to the power of 0 is 1, except when we have our a0, which is not the case in here. So we have 1 over e is equal to x times e to the power of minus x squared. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the question, we are trying to use the Lambert W function. And for Lambert W function, what we need is box e to the power of box and once we apply the Lambert W function, the answer for this will be the box. So this is what trying to build in here, which if you look at the right side of the equation, we'll see that we are getting close to it. So we're going to take the power of 2 on each side. So we have 1 over e to the power of 2 is equal to x times e to the power of minus x square, square all to the power of 2. And we know when we have 8 times b to the power of n, this will be equal to a to the n times b to the n. And the same thing applies for the division when we have a over b all to the power of n, this will be a to the n over b to the n. So basically in here we have 1 to the power of 2, which is 1 over e squared is equal to x squared times e to the power of and under the loss of the exponent, when we have a to the power of m to the power of n, this will be equal to a to the power of m times n. So basically, we can multiply these two in here to e to the power of minus 2x squared. So we can see that we are getting close into the box that we are looking for. And it seems that we are missing a minus 2 in here to build that box that we are looking for. So here, if we just multiply this by minus 2, what we're going to get is minus 2 over e squared is equal to minus 2x squared times e to the power of minus 2x squared. So now it's the time for Lambert W function. So we have Lambert W function of minus 2 over e squared is equal to Lambert W function of minus 2x squared times e to the power of minus 2x squared. From the right side, we're going to get the box, which is minus 2x squared. And from the left side, from what we discussed earlier, e squared can go into the denominator and it will be e to the power of minus 2. And looking at the left side, we'll see that we have Lambert double function and another box in here. So minus 2 would be basically equal to minus 2x squared. And we just have to divide minus 2 on each side of this equation. So we're going to get minus 2 over minus 2 is equal to minus 2x squared over minus 2. We can cancel this out. So basically our x squared is equal to 1, which means if we take this squared on each side, we have absolute value of x is equal to 1. So our x is equal to. So to answer so far, let's check if both work. So if we put x equal 1 to the equation that we have in here, let's see, we have e to the power of x squared minus 1 is equal to 1. So this will be equal to e to the power of 0, which is 1. So this one work. Let's try x to the minus 1, e to the power of minus 1 
squared minus one. And on the right side, we have minus one. This side would be again, e to the power of zero, which is not equal to one. So the only answer in here is x is equal to one. Hope everything was clear. Yeah, the last part is kind of interesting because we get to the both plus or minus one, which actually minus one is not acceptable for us. So that was the main point of this video to get to this point. Uh, although we could have guessed the answer at the first place by just putting one into the question. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have another approach to solve this. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.